the five best rookies in 2024 Tops Series 1. Happy Hobby, I'm David Goss, and once again, if you're a sports car collector and you're working with a limited budget like I do, and you're looking for awesome Tops flagship cards like I am, you want the rookie cards, you want the great flagship rookie cards, that's what I'm after as well. I wrote an article on it on davidgonis.com. The best rookie flagship cards from every top set from 1952 to now. So make sure you check that out. Today, we're talking about the top five rookie cards we're expecting to get. The, the checklist is out. We already know what cards are coming. These are the top five rookie cards to get from that Tops 2024 Series 1 set. We're going to count these down backwards. So first, we're going to go with number five, the shortstop from the Giants, Marco Luciano. Now, right now, he's the Giants' number two prospect. He's a shortstop. He could probably move to third base at some point, but he's a good hitter, good prospect. We've heard a lot about him for a couple years now, and he definitely has the ability to hit 35 home runs at some point in the majors. We're looking forward to getting Luciano. At number four, we're looking at our boy Colton Kowser, another Orioles hitting prospect. They just keep churning him out, and that's part of why I like Colton Kowser a lot. The Orioles have already shown that they can develop young hitters into being productive major league batters. He's an outfielder. He's 23 years old. He is currently the Orioles' number two prospect right behind, you already know, Jackson Holiday, shortstop. He's probably going to be... Uh, later on, we expect him to probably maybe be a top Series 2 uh, in 2024. We'll see about that one. Number three, you already know about this guy. You saw him in the postseason last season. Evan Carter for the Texas Rangers. This guy's only 21 years old, and you saw what he did last year. One of the hottest hitters in the postseason overall, but for the Rangers particularly. And uh, he's going to be a good, decent, average hitter in the majors. Not a ton of power, but he's going to be enough to be highly collectible because He's exciting. He's going to run a lot more in 2024 as well, as the Rangers start to turn up the speed a little bit. Number two player on this list, it's a surprise to me. I thought this guy was going to be a Series 2 rookie card for sure. Jason Dominguez, the Martian, the Yankees outfielder. Now, this is a good news, bad news situation because Jason Dominguez tore his UCL, his ulnar collateral ligament, which means he had to undergo Tommy John surgery. So that means he's not going to start the season with the Yankees. But we've seen hitters uh, come back from Tommy John surgery uh, faster. And uh, they're better. They're fine once they do come back. So we expect good things from Dominguez once he does come back and he gets in that Yankees lineup, which is starting to get stacked with a lot of young hitters. Dominguez is going to be interesting. Good on-base percentage. He's going to have a great slugging rate. This guy's going to rake. He's going to do well in the majors. Now, here's the thing. He's a Yankees prospect. What do I mean by that? He's overhyped. He's he's overhyped right now. I'm hyping him as the second best rookie, but really because he's a Yankees prospect is why you want to get him. Um, he's highly collectible because of that. He is an excellent player. We expect good things from him. So that's what I mean by the good news, bad news is it's bad news that he's getting Tommy John surgery, but that's also good news because it may dampen his prices uh, over the, first few months of the season as people are battling for chasing Evan Carter cards and and uh, your Colton Cowsers and Marco Lucianos and my number one guy on this list, Ellie De La Cruz, the shortstop for the Cincinnati Reds. You already knew. You knew he was going to be. He's the poster boy of Tops Series 1. So obviously he was going to be my number one rookie on this list. Now what's interesting is, is it crazy to say Ellie De La Cruz has a chance to become the Ronald Acuna Jr. Jr. He just might. He has a crazy exit velocity. Add that to his elite burner speed. He has super sprint speed. Those two things together, that's a great thing for a baseball player. And that's a great thing for sports card collectors like you and me looking for a superstar rookie card. What's interesting is this class of rookies, this is a bumper crop of rookie cards to get in this top series one it's the best rookie class that tops has put out in a single series since well just 
2023 with Adley Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson, and Michael Harris II. And there's a bunch of other good ones then as well. But this is a really good class, so I'm really happy that Tops put all these guys in here. Series 2, who knows what we're going to have in that. Maybe Wyatt Langford. Maybe he comes up with the Rangers and starts doing some crazy things there. We don't know, but Series 2 should be pretty good. But Series 1 is definitely going to be good. So those are your top five rookies. I want to hear from you. Who are the top five rookie cards you want to get in this first 2024 Top Series 1? Let me know in the comments. And whatever you do, make sure you have a happy hobby.